What is going on guys, Mr. Light over here. Just wanna say before we get into the video, if you like this video as well as any other videos that are on the channel, please feel free to go ahead and click that subscription button, click the notification bell, wax that like button for the YouTube algorithm, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. What up, what up, what up? Okay, so you've seen throughout the course of my channel, if you've been subscribed or tuned in for very long, you know that I'm a big fan of Hydrosilix. I'm a big fan of the company. They seem to have great uh, customer service, great support, and good products, which is most important. And so Hydrosilix went ahead and they sent me something brand new that they are coming out with now. If you're familiar with the flagship Hydrosilix products that simply recharge, which is their ceramic coating, spray on ceramic coating, give you about four to five, actually about five to six months of protection I've seen on good surfaces. Uh, and their wax and grease remover, which is none other than rewind. And so basically it's kind of a system that they've put together. You have the wax and grease remover, cleanse the surface, makes make sure that all the polishes and oils and whatever might be on the actual surface are gone. And then the recharge, which is the protectant. It's a it's a really good protectant, very easy to use. You know about all that stuff. I've talked about it multiple times for many different videos, all that good stuff. I don't want to talk about necessarily how great does it beat. I want to talk about this new product here. So basically innovation is a big part of the detailing industry. Everyone's trying to come out with the latest and greatest product and everyone is thinking on their feet. They're on their toes about how to improve our products and how to take our company to the next level. And so Hydrosilix tried something new here. They tried to uh, step out of the box here and they came out with these brand new wipes. I got to tell you, um, as a detailer, it's very weird to think about using wipes. Nevertheless, we've got wipes over here, guys. And so basically how it works is whatever product you see in the standard bottles and the spray application, it's the same formula inside of these packages and they have wipes that come inside of them that basically it allows for an easier experience. And that way you don't have to spend $35 a bottle, $40 a bottle, and have all this extra product that you may never use. You may only want one coating on your vehicle, and so the objective is to go ahead and buy the wipes. Now, you, there's two different packages or sizes with these wipes, and so you have the uh, compact size, which comes with two of each wipe. You get, you're going to get two rewinds, which is their wax and grease remover, and two recharges, which is their ceramic coating. If you jump up to a large vehicle or a large size package, you're going to get three of each, three rewinds, and three three recharges. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the video. We're going to prepare the panel as much as we can. And guys, we're going to see how this stuff works. Let me know what you think. How do you think it's going to work out? How do you think it's going to pan out? All right. So someone asked me one time, what time is it? And of course, out of habit, I had to respond with it is game time. Who? So now that's game time. Let's get to it. So what I'm doing is I'm preparing the panel. Um, I'm using a iron remover, just a typical iron remover. I have not talked about it on the channel. Probably will talk about it soon though, because I kind of like it, especially for the price. Um, but I'm preparing the panel, trying to make sure all the iron deposits are removed. And now I'm following up with my clay towel. I always take a clay towel to it, just kind of like another way of ensuring, you know, getting a good job over here. The only problem with clay towels is that they tend to mar quite a bit, especially as you've used them quite a lot um it does not mar as much as some of the other synthetic clays but it does mar a bit nevertheless the panel's prepared and now i can go ahead i'm going to skip the polishing step but we're going to go straight to the rewind step with the wipe you'll notice that when you open up the package there is a good amount of product in there there's a good amount of rewind there uh and that's good because you want to make sure that whatever the towel is it's saturated of course you know wax and grease removers are not known for their lubricity uh but they there should be a good amount of product because it's not like a bottle where you can go back and get more once you're out you are out 
but you can see I'm kind of opening it up. And so they give you a fairly large size towel. It's a little weird to work with here. I'm just not used to this method of application, uh, but you can see that it definitely works and I am getting a good amount of rewind on the panel. So something very interesting that I'm noticing at this point is as I'm going over now a second pass over it just you know just to make sure that I'm getting good results over here I noticed that the towel is drying out fairly quickly um, which leads me to think that you might need more than what is given in the original package if you anticipate needing a small package maybe by a large especially if you're working outside nevertheless let's move on to recharge so recharge obviously as i mentioned earlier in the video it's hydrosilix's ceramic maintenance application ceramic spray coating now in the towel form uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna do this one a little bit different i'm not necessarily gonna open it up all the way i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of leave the towel as is and apply as necessary i do want to kind of uh, spare the product as much as possible to make sure I can you know have as much value as possible if that makes sense and I'm noticing that uh, already that by doing it this method the uh, recharge is kind of going a lot farther uh, that's probably the method you even want to take when using rewind but it's applying very easily even in direct sunlight I'm not noticing any streaking staining Hydrosilix has always been known to be a very sun friendly product, at least in my uh, environment, in my experience being in South Florida in high humidity, high heat. Uh, it seems to be working out very well and I'm so far enjoying the experience. It's definitely slick to the touch. The panel is definitely slick and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat instantly on camera just to go ahead and get that. Now just a note guys, I am not using proper towel etiquette. Justin Lobato would slap me in the face if he saw me do this. Um, but you know, definitely use good proper towel etiquette. I'm looking at this and I'm cringing right now as I'm looking at myself detail here. But make sure your towel is folded in fours here. I just caught myself there. Make sure it's folded in fours and try to use proper etiquette. That's definitely, uh, you know, especially if you're working on sensitive paint there. It's just good precautions here. But I'm noticing that by keeping the, uh, the wipe kind of the way it was in the package by keeping that form or that consistency by not unfolding it I'm going a lot farther I'm getting a lot more done no hydrosilix doesn't mention anything about a cure time but you could even see that the area where I applied seems to show a bit less swirling or marring so that's pretty cool uh, to mention or pretty cool to notice here, but here simply I'm going to show the water repellency or how does it the, how do, how does the water respond to the panel after the product has been applied? This is obviously with a very little cure time Just maybe 10 15 minutes of curing and bonding to the panel. That's all I'm giving it right now But on the right side, I went ahead and I applied the spray version of hydrosilic so on the left side It's the wipe version and on the right side, it is the uh, spray version or the version out of the bottle. And I'm noticing something very interesting here. I don't know if it's just by the method of application or if it, there's actually a, a product difference here. But on the left side where I applied it with the wipes, I'm noticing almost a bit of a more of a sheeting um, sheeting properties. While on the right side, I'm seeing a little bit more beading. So that's very, very interesting, but the left side has much less water on the paint as the right side. So that's something interesting to take notice of. I don't know if that means anything, but something notice or something to take notice of. There you guys have it. That was the Hydrosilix Recharge and Rewind Wipes. Uh, so I want to kind of give a couple pros and cons to the actual new not formulation, but the new interface or the new way of using Rewind and Recharge. I happen to really like Rewind and Recharge as a product. I think that as products, as a system, I think they work very well. 
Um, is it the highest durability? No, I mean, there's there's one-year coatings on the market. There's stuff like that. Hydrosilix markets themselves as a four to six month coating. They don't try to oversell. They don't try to throw it out there, kind of like how the last coat did on their first formulation or some of these other companies do when they put out sealants and products. They don't oversell. They don't overdo it. And so they keep it fairly honest. And so as a product, as a company, I do really like Hydrosilix, but I do really like Recharge and Rewind, especially in a spray bottle. Model. Now, as far as the wipes go, uh, I do like the creativity of the interface. I do like the fact that they're that the companies try to think outside of the box. How can we get more product in the, into the consumer's hands, but not too much product? Does that make sense? So, with the bottle of recharge, that could last me seven maybe not seven cars, but about five to six cars maybe, depending on the size of the vehicle. That lasts me quite a bit, although yes, the cost per use is less. Do I need to spend $35 for a bottle when all I need is one application? Uh, and so that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they're going out of their way to be able to make it more economical for the buyer or for the consumer. And so for a practicality standpoint, when it comes to cost wise as far as efficiency i think it does work very well here's one of the concerns that i have with this wipe uh the, the packaging doesn't specify what kind of material it is but by using it and touching it, i can tell it's some type of microfiber uh cloth if i'm using it on a black car that has virtually no swirls no scratches is it going to instill swirls and scratches i'd hope not um I don't think it does. It seems like a fairly safe product, but without proper education, without proper precautions, you will probably find yourself adding a little bit of marring if you don't take you know, good caution. So like you would with any product, don't scrub too hard, don't wipe too hard, just do it very gently and you shouldn't have any issues. I don't think you will have issues, but I can't speak for that. You know, I, I can't say you're definitely not gonna have any issues. Quite honestly, I think anything can scratch to a bit, especially something like this. Um, take with that what you would like to take with that. Another another downfall is that you have to use it in a shaded environment. So as a mobile detailer or as a consumer, a DIYer that doesn't have a garage, it doesn't have a canopy, you're gonna find yourself needing a lot more product than what is necessary. So for the recharge wipe, you saw how it went over half the panel that was one towel and it was probably somewhere around 50% dry by the end of that. So I would need probably for a small vehicle such as that Toyota Camry, I'd probably need three to four wipes. And so that is a concern of mine. Obviously, that's me working in direct sunlight. At least the packaging is honest and says do not work in direct sunlight. What happens is the product evaporates, the heat of the panel evaporates the product and it causes you to dry out a lot quicker. And it's not like you have a reserve to go back to you only have what's in the packet or if you have another packet that's it and so that's what you're working with and so those are a couple cons but as far as a pro goes like I said it's economical it's easy to use um, and as far as a practicality standpoint it makes sense to have to not have to buy more product than is necessary so those are a couple things that I thought about the product once again thank you so much hydrosilix for sending me out the product for sending me out this new wipe system uh, I do thank you so much for allowing me to be able to try it out and to be able to do a review an honest review on my youtube channel guys hydrosilix is going out of their way to make sure that you guys can go ahead and get these products in your hands with virtually no cost i'm going to leave the coupon code down in the comment section below and when you click on that or when you use that coupon code what it'll allow you to do is get the product in your hand for free all you have to do is cover the cost of shipping to me that's actually a pretty good buy that's a pretty good steal there so i'd say go ahead and take advantage of that go ahead and take advantage of the coupon code of that link and guys let me know what you think about this product in the comment section below do you like it do you hate it it's something that you see adding value to your company to your uh detailing experience experience your detailing lifestyle let me know what you think in the comment section below but guys once again mr lad here signing out thank you so much for tuning into my video if you have not already done so please click that subscription button click the notification bell i want you to wax that like button for the youtube algorithm thank you so much for viewing guys take care